Hello everyone, so uh, here we are at Guns and Smoke here again, been a while since we've been here in Barnet and we've met Adrian. So Adrian, uh, apparently you're, you're interested in fragrances Adrian, so uh, you, and you were just telling me one of your favourites is Gucci Guilty. Well, I have lots of it. Yes. How, and what is it you like about that one? Oh, it smells good. It smells, that's a good place to start. Yeah. Any good ladies' reactions on that one? Oh, yeah, I had a few. Oh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. Now, it sat on my lap. <laughs> ah, well, that's, that's the kind of reaction we want, isn't it? Yeah. Hello everyone, so today we're going to be getting some public opinion on Pineapple Vintage from Parfums Vintage and uh, I must tell you that they are doing a special offer at the moment and that is going to be, uh, the price is down to £64.99 in the UK or $84.99 over in the USA for your 100ml bottle of either the classic version or the slightly smokier noir version in the black box. Great offer, I'm not uh, paid by them or anything, but I'm just, if you are interested in the product, there is a good special offer on at the moment. That will run till the 3rd of March this year, 2017, if you're watching it after that, sorry, but there may be other offers in future. So let's see what people thought about this fragrance and then I'll give you my brief uh, summary at the end. Here we have Vanessa from Croatia. Hi there. And she's very kindly agreed to give us her opinions on pineapple vintage. Okay, so we're gonna spray it on you, Vanessa. Where do you want it, on there? Okay. Tell us what you think of that one, Vanessa. Just a sec. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a huge fragrance lover. Yep. And I would strongly recommend this fragrance to anybody that is like in between 25 to 35 years old. Since this scent is like really fun, but then again mature. Mm -hmm. So only like certain type of mature people can wear it. It's have you it's ever not, smelled? It's definitely not for everybody, okay. but in a good way. Like not everybody can rock it. Uh, have you smelled so. Creed Aventus before? No. Okay, so just on its own merits, this sent you, what would you say, mark out of 10? It's 10. 10? I'm, I'm really specific you about like the it? types of perfumes yeah, okay. I, I, I prefer. So you're not just saying that to be nice? No, no you would I'm, be, I'm really specific. If it was crap, you would say to me? Yes, I would say it's okay. crap. And really nice. so for a man to wear this that was going on a date with you, yeah. he would have done a good job? Yes, You'd but be happy, it has to go yeah. with a certain style, like tux, you know, like suits. Oh, I should dress well. Yeah, okay, like okay. smart, smart, uh -huh. but then again, like give that like cocky, cocky, uh, okay. cocky attitude. Okay. Like, uh, you want a bit of cocky attitude yeah. with it's this like fragrance? Cocky, cocky serious. Okay. Cocky smart, yeah. Ah, uh, I like that, okay. Vanessa, that's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hello, so here we've got Adrian, and uh, he's a fragrance enthusiast uh, who's uh, met up with us. So we've been sniffing around town, and we're going to be smelling pineapple vintage. So, here we go, Adrian. You've never smelled this one before, but you're well acquainted with the Ventus, aren't you? So, yeah. it's uh, going to be interesting to see what you think. I'm going to do three sprays. Okay, tell us what you think of that. It's quite close, closer than I thought. Should we give one more? Maybe you didn't get a lot there. Yeah, okay. you did. Let's, let's, uh, <laughs> we are outdoors, so you've got to dig in there yeah. a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but it's closer than I've heard people mention. People talk about how it's mostly pineapple. Ah. And yeah, this is closer than I heard. Closer to Aventus, you yeah. mean? Oh, right, okay. It's good. It's good. Okay. And you're you are quite opinionated, and you would say if you didn't like it, you're not yeah, just trying to. Yeah, but be... I like Aventus. Though, okay, so... you do like Aventus. Yeah. You have Aventus. Yes. And you've got another one that's similar by Bond. Yeah, centerpiece for him. Okay, uh, which you slightly prefer. Yeah. How does this rate against those so far? First impression. Similar. I mean, it's just on paper. I'm yeah. not smelling it properly, but yeah, it's pretty close to Aventus. Okay. And mark out of ten, just on the first sniff. Eight. Eight. Okay, so quite impressed. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, thanks very much, Adrian. Hello, everyone. So we're here at Manor Pharmacy in Radler, and Manju has very kindly agreed to give me her opinion on uh, this fragrance. Uh, this is a great uh, 
place here actually they've got quite a wide range of, of stuff for a small pharmacist and there are a few uh, gems including a Reeve Gosh that I got here a couple of months back so it's a really good place uh, and if you're in Radler come and check it out so Manjo and um, we're gonna spray yeah. I'll do three because it's a quite light sprayer so it's this one people at home know what it is Get a second and tell us your first impressions. It's very light. I've got hands uh -huh. over here, they're green. Fresh. Fresh, like yeah, fresh. I definitely would be fresh. Mm -hmm. Any particular things that it reminds you of? Is it, you know, any notes and fragrances that you, you know, is it woody or anything like that? Sandalwood. Sandalwood, I can, oh, okay. I can oh. smell sandalwood in the back knots. Oh, okay. What about the sort of fruitiness of it? Anything in particular? Lemony. Lemony, okay. Slight lemony there. Okay. Well, and how much do you like it overall? So I know it's only a very brief uh, impression that you're getting here. This is kind of my kind of fragrance because I prefer ah, light fragrances. Okay. Myself yep. personally. Sure, yep, okay. Uh, heavy fragrances give me a headache. Okay. My so you like that it's light. Yes. Okay. I always make him wear light fragrances. Oh, right, okay. okay. I think, yeah, a lot of women do prefer fresh smelling yeah. ones on men. Yeah. I would say eight out of ten. Eight out of ten, okay. I'll let you know it's called pineapple vintage. So the pineapple. main note is oh pineapple, God, but there are fruity. there's bergamot, so yeah. you just get a general yeah, citrus impression. Okay. So you're quite a positive first impression. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if you can hold that tester strip for me for a moment, okay, it's a little bit difficult with one hand. I'm gonna spray that on there. Yeah. You're gonna give me your a couple of words to describe and a mark out of ten. No, no, I don't. Do it on my oh. neck. Are you want, no? But you know you can't smell it there, can you? <laughs> right. Well, what do you think of that, Adrian? It smells like cam chamomile. 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 Yeah. It's called pineapple vintage. Oh, okay. One or the other. Gut reaction. Yeah. Okay. How much do you like it? Six. S only a six out of ten. Yeah, six inches. Yeah, six. Six out of ten. Okay. Anything that you smell other than chamomile? No. Cheese. Cheese? No, I, no, I lost Cock, the cheese. Apparently. <laughs> yeah. A bit of that, yeah. Uh, okay. And that's it for you yeah. at the moment, okay? Can you give us your, the song that you did earlier? Let's have a whiff. Here we go. Okay. Now I'm going to say ya yeah, ta ta ta. I lost a few pounds on my waist for ya. Yeah. I need a glass of water. That's it? I say honey, you say G. Honey, G. Honey, G. Boom, 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 boom. Right. Was it good? That was actually very good. Thank oh, you very much. Let's have a little Just ab bit. absolutely my kind of thing, that. Oh, hello, I remember you. I know, you've got, you've got <laughs> Where is it? Where, where did it? Yes, yeah, yes, yes. You've never smelt that one before. This is a friend from a previous video. He was on the one uh, where we did uh, Mancera versus Aventus. Mancera? Cedra de Boaz. Any good? It was a joke. Pineapple vintage. Mark out of 10. Words to describe. My nan. Your nan? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. With pineapple. Your nan with pineapple. Is that good? My nan smells good. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure she is. Which Mark out. My nan? No, it's okay. Hang on, we had this trouble with you before. Okay. It all got no, a bit so stroppy. It's, and Mark it's out of quite ten. Fruity. It's quite nice. I'll yes. Get... Mark out of ten. Serious. In all seriousness, because my viewers actually do care what you say. Realistically. Yes. I think it's good. 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 Hey, if. It's, it's not a young woman smell, it smells like quite soapy, quite thing. It's for an elderly woman, but it smells It's nice. a man's fragrance. It's, is it a man? Yes. Oh, then it's bad. <laughs> okay. I thought it smelled like, oh, as right. an older woman's fragrance, I think so it So you thought it smelled feminine? Yeah, it does smell okay. quite, quite flowery. All right. That's a perfectly legitimate view. What's your name again? Alex Hicks. Alex Hicks. Mark out of 10 for pineapple vintage. For an old, old woman. 8.5. <laughs> that's a brilliant, for, for, that's a great quote for a man. For a man, you ain't getting laid with that stuff. Oh, right. I'll spray no <laughs> that's name. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. That's lovely, wonderful footage. Okay, so there it was, some interesting public opinions on this one, Parfums Vintage, Pineapple Vintage. Uh, I don't think we can take very much useful information from the last couple outside the bar, but that was just a bit of fun. Uh, but the first three people all gave it good marks, 10, 8 and 8 respectively, out of 10. Uh, and I am really enjoying this one. The more I'm wearing it, the more I find that, that there's more to it than just a pineapple smell. The muskiness that you get as the dry down develops is something I'm really enjoying on this one. Performance I find is really strong. I often, as you've seen, 
seen do videos with Smurfy Girlie Claire, the, the fragrance um, connoisseur. And she is great because I get a really good uh, feedback about projection and how long things last. I'm often one who thinks, oh, I can't smell this anymore. I should have sprayed more. It doesn't perform. So things very quickly with me after an hour or so, I'm, I'm not that aware of them. But uh, when, when I've worn it with her two or three times, she's always said it's a real strong performer. So I would say that uh, this fragrance has got something really interesting going for it. I know that if you're looking for a cheap one, this, you know, something that's cheaper than Aventus but smells like Aventus, this might seem a little pricey even at a reduced rate because there are cheaper options. And I, I have to say, if you are just looking for a really inexpensive Aventus clone, I think La Venture by Al Haramain is the one to go for. If you're just looking to, to not spend much money and get very close to Aventus, yes, this will do it. The pineapple vintage, I think, is more in the kind of niche category of being a fragrance that actually brings something of its own to the table. It doesn't smell like any batch of Aventus I've ever smelled because the pineapple thing is so much sharper and more pronounced. So uh, I think that's in its favour in many ways. And I think really, um, if pineapple vintage are looking to, to put this one out there and make it a real big success, then I think the, the way to go is for them to promote the fact that it's not really a, a clone of Aventus, but it's a, an, an, event, a, an Aventus-inspired scent that takes things up to another level and, and brings it something of its own to the table. So uh, I think for people who own Aventus looking for something different, fantastic option, or for people just looking for a great scent in its own right, regardless of the Aventus thing, this, this is really rather spectacular juice. Let me know what you think. League table video coming up soon. Thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing in life, let's project. Bye-bye.